Hi good people from all around the world, this is Nick from OVA Let's Plays. In today's video we're going to cover how to supreme buff weapons. Now this has been requested before, so I figured I'd probably do it eventually. The first step you need is you need T-Mod Loader, you can get this off of Steam. Um, and the most essential, there's a lot of good mods out there, a lot of amazing mods, but the most essential one for Supreme Buffed is Fargo's Equipable Inventory. Now this is so, so useful, not just for Supreme Buff, but for anything, basically anything in your inventory, uh, any accessories, even armor becomes active. So this can help you not with just Supreme Buff, but whatever you have creativity, like if you wanted to be extra fast, you could just equip a bunch of, um, a bunch of, um, Supersonic Souls or... Um, from Fargo's too. Fargo's has a lot of great mods. So many great mods. A lot of people just know him for Fargo Souls and Fargo's Mutant Mod and the DLC, but he makes, uh, Fargo makes a lot of great mods. One day I'm hoping to do Fargo's Mega Pack mod or Ultimate Pack where I have everything installed that's Fargo's and just have all that. Um, there's also Omni Wield, uh, which if you're going to use more than one weapon, you know, will help. But this is the most essential one because that's how you, you're able to buff up things so much. And then there's the, there's the accessories that you used to buff up. And so, um, there's OP Plus Recipes, which is the original one, um, that I used to use a while back. And there's also OP accessories, I used to use that one, but most recently I've used Better Emblems mod. And of course you're going to want a uh, Cheat Cheat as well. And Heroes mod, I have those just so you can get the items easier and you can move around and everything. Um, as far as I know, that's the basic bare essentials on a, as far as how to... Supreme buff. Um, I'll go ahead and go to the world here. So basically, with uh, basically with the supreme buff, with the equip Fargo's equipable inventory, anything in your inventory is uh, active in terms of accessories. Uh, cheat sheet can also help you with uh, some additional slots here, about six. Now, a common mistake that people will make is they'll put the accessory here, and then they'll load the accessories here, but the problem with that is, and I'll show you guys real quick here, um, is they won't go in. If you if you have to load this left portion here before you put it in the right, you put the right one, the normal slide in, last. Because here here's what will happen. You put this in right, and then I'll get another Soul of the Universe just to show you guys. It won't go in. I'm clicking. It won't go in because this one's here. For some reason, if the accessory is here, it won't register for here. Now, you don't have to worry about that, of course, for uh, your normal inventory. But as far as these bonus slots go, you have to load these first and then do that last. So, do this there, and then you can put that there. So, you always load the normal one last. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do it. Um, so let's say for example you wanted to buff up like a super weak weapon or something that's here like um, hmm. let's just say you wanted to buff up the iron axe for example right right now we have a bunch of sorcerer emblems ones so what I do is I have a bunch of chests that are preloaded with the different types like there's the mage one there's stardust um, the only downside to better emblems is that that I can see is that they're they're separate so if you want melee you have to go with melee there's not a universal one that we have yet but uh, but one day there might be so let's say we wanted to buff up the uh, buff up the, the iron axe so what we do is we go to the melee one here load up on the warrior emblems and then look at that, bam, there's the Iron Axe. Now another useful uh, mod that, that isn't necessarily essential but can help a lot, especially with certain things, is the Item Modifier mod. 
this you can you, you technically wouldn't even need everything else you could just use the item modifier mod that might be the simplest way especially if you're first starting out because you can change your damage shoot speed everything if it's a melee and if it's a true melee increasing the, the scale of the item oh, I'm, I'm on the wrong thing there we go increasing the scale of the item can really help you can increase I think even up to 20 depending on the size Let's let's do 30. So technically all you would really need is the item modifier mod by itself. That if that would be the simplest thing to do is just use the item modifier mod. But yeah, that's basically the how-to version, guys. Um I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, you let me know down below in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye everybody.